Good morning. We are back from New Zealand, back in Melbourne, back to reality. <laughs> it is Tuesday, the 27th of what month are we in? August. Since we left for the UK, like what day it is and everything has just been a blur. I'm about to do my makeup. I thought I would just show you a couple of things that I have been playing with um, this morning before I head off. Today I have quite a big day actually. I got up this morning and did some school study for a tutorial that I'm running this evening. I hadn't really played the work that I'm coaching, so I had to like study along with the score and a recording just to kind of hear how it goes so that I can teach these students something but this afternoon I actually have a rehearsal for an opera that I'm playing in I'm actually playing in the university's opera they're hiring me to come back and play in that so I'm doing that over the next two weeks the rehearsals start today I've got three rehearsals this week and then next week is a much bigger week because we have all the tech rehearsals dress rehearsals concerts and stuff so it's gonna be quite a busy week next week so yeah just sitting down to do my makeup I want to show you this cute little setup that I've got going my coffee in my little favorite mug this one's from H&M home and then Jessica I'm watching your q and on my cute little Ikea phone stand. I love this thing so much. And I actually used that stand with Alex's iPad. I was playing, um, I was learning the opera on his iPad just cause it's like over hundred pages and I didn't want to print them out. I really need to get myself an iPad for music, but I was using it with the stand and it works really well. So it's great if you don't want to have to set up your music stand, you can just plonk it on a table. Very cool. And that little Ikea block thing is like $2. Like it's very inexpensive. I'll chat to you guys a little bit um, on the couple of products that I'm trying. And then I'll watch Jess in between. <laughs> First thing that just arrived in the mail the other day is the e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer. I haven't actually used it yet. I had a, a scoop of it and played, played with it on the back of my hand. But I haven't actually put it on my face. You guys know that this is like touted as a dupe for the Tatcha. Um, silk canvas primer which is one of my favorite primers that and the hourglass veil mineral they're the two primers that I feel like actually make a difference to longevity with foundations so if this is a dupe I'll be so happy because a it's a heck of a lot cheaper than the toucher and b it's fragrance free which is wonderful it has a similar feeling um maybe slightly thinner than the toucher but very very similar kind of balmy feeling i like the packaging too like it's just very simple and small it would be good to travel with and then for foundation i'm actually going to use a little combo that i've been trying out the last couple of days it's one that has amazing finish an amazing amount of sort of coverage but doesn't have the best longevity so that's why i think this um using this elf primer underneath might help it and i'll be able to tell whether it made a difference it's actually a mixture of the l'oreal lumi magique base this is like a shimmery kind of glowy primer moisturizer sort of thing and the number seven match made custom blend foundation drops and this is in the shade porcelain i picked these up while i was in the UK at Boots and I figured that mixing them with something like the Lumi Magique would give it a beautiful finish but it also would help to just slightly lighten them they're not too too dark for me they're a little they're a little bit borderline but mixing them with such a sort of white glowy primer kind of helped to lighten them slightly as well so I'm just going to mix those on the back of my hand the only thing I'll say is that it's quite hard to like know how much to sort of mix in and stuff just a little bit of a guessing game make a little concoction on the back of my hand it's actually probably still a little bit dark but it'll be fine it seems to be a shade that looks darker when it comes out of the tube but actually when you put it on your face and blend it in it's fine i'm just going to use my damp the damp beauty sponge to blend that in i've used slightly less drops than i did the other day because i did it the other day and i probably put too much in and it was so full coverage it was insane like these drops are really really pigmented I'm actually really impressed by them. But yeah, I want something just a little bit more natural. That's still so much coverage, it's insane. I could even use less. I probably use the equivalent of like a pea, I guess. I don't know. Maybe less than that. A lentil. A pea is a lentil. Do you see what I mean? Like the colour actually looks like not too bad once it's blended out. Perhaps a little bit on the olive warm tone sort of side. For summer in that I actually don't mind a slightly warmer sort of foundation. I don't know, it kind of gives me a bit more of that bronzy glow look, but we are still in winter here. Nearly in spring. The weather has been very beautiful, quite spring-like in Melbourne. Can you see how beautiful that finish is? Because that L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer is stunning. But then you mix in the drops and it just gives you coverage. Gathered some more thoughts on the Glossier stretch concealer. I do really love it, but I've deemed that it is a concealer for people with perfect skin. Very sheer, and I, I love the way it makes my under eyes look, but you just, I don't know if I could call it really a concealer. It doesn't really conceal much. It just kind of 
makes the finish look really beautiful. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Perhaps the deeper shades would have a bit more coverage. I know light shades can sometimes struggle to get the same amount of coverage as the deeper um, equivalents. Just chuck a tiny bit of Tart down here and on my nose because I do like a little bit a little bit extra coverage there yesterday when I used these drops I didn't actually need face concealer at all I used so much pigment <laughs> that I look like it covered up literally everything on my face but I don't always want that level of coverage over my entire complexion because it looks a little bit mask like so I'd rather just go in with a little bit of heart shaped tape where I need it morning morning remember i bought this from and other stories in the uk and i thought i could wear it in winter time with like some tights and boots I've got my little merchant boots on yes i know i'm standing on this but these boots are clean and this cardigan which i've worn for ages i got from yesterday like last year and i changed the buttons out to be tortoise shell wore it heaps in summer just as like a little easy throw over if it wasn't actually a hot day but i think with this outfit it looks real cute so cute i'm nice seeing in a dress again Look at them legs, haven't seen those for ages. Look what I'm doing. That yeah. is freaking awesome. I'm finally submitting. My thesis final deposit. Mm -hmm. I had just a couple of small amendments to make. Got them done and it's all been approved. You can go about living the rest of your life. I know, as a doctor. What are we making, Deb? Pizza. Pizza. The other day, me and Alex made a pizza with a combination of ingredients that I normally do as a pasta, but I was like, I reckon it would taste really good on a pizza. So it's roast pumpkin, goat's cheese, sagey butter and kale and it's really good i normally do it with pumpkin gnocchi and it's so nice i think i've actually shown that in a vlog before as well but um i think we're gonna well we are we're going to make it for lunch today pizza because we did it the other day and it worked out really well so then i thought okay now i can officially like vlog it and show you guys i'm just discovering that i am um i've not baked much <laughs> it's all right you'll learn Put it in and knead it in the bowl. Just keep, yeah. And is trying her best not to disparage me for things I don't know. What do you mean you don't know how to do this? Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> this is the sauce that we put on just at the end once it's already been in the oven cooking for a bit. All you do is melt butter and pop some sage leaves in. Let it, let it sit there for a while. Okay, that's looking quite good, dear. So transfer it to the tray. Oh, I should have got a rolling pin. No, that's out. good. It's fine. We don't need one. We use our hands. And then you just smush it out and just, yeah, use your knuckles to kind of spread it out. Okay, maybe I'll do the spot. Oh, hi. Anna has discovered that my uh, vlogging skills are better than my baking no, skills. No, you're fine. This is some pumpkin we roasted the other day. Um, I'm just going to smush this all over. It's butternut pumpkin, by the way, which you might know it as butternut squash. If you're from North America. Mm. Now we're just smushing a bit of goat's cheese. This is my favorite bit of the meal. Yeah, it's very it's sticky cheese. Smaller bits, but more of it. I'm trying really hard. To be honest, I don't know how long for. I just sort of constantly check we'll back just watch on. it. And when it looks kind and... <laughs> but dusty, baby. <laughs> just wash these. So when it looks kind of nearly done, that's when I then drizzle the buttery sage all over it and yeah. the kale. So that's just come out of the oven. I'm gonna put my little butter, sage, kale mixture over it. <laughs> Very excessive. And just like smush that around. Probably should have done a bit more kale, but it's all right. Sage leaves are the dark ones. And then I'm gonna pop that back in the oven. Go for a little bit more. So rainy. It's very rainy. But we have pizza cookies. We have each other. Mm. <laughs> we need a pizza slice. We do. This is fine. Mmm. Mmm. Good baby? It's yummy. Real good. Vegetarian and delicious. 
almost vegan grown up there. Okay, so not vegan. Almost vegan grown up But meat free. Cheese. Right, so I am now off to see my lovely friends, Rachel and Rachel and Erin and Crystal and Hannah was meant to be there but she's sick sadly. I've been really looking forward to seeing them since being away and this is what I'm wearing. I've got my black skinnies, my merchant little boots, sort of western boots, just a silk cami and then this little top I got from Sports Girl. I actually got this before I went away to New Zealand. It's a really nice little thin knit that sits nicely underneath jackets and stuff. Got my little Copenhagen Viking necklace. So we're having it at Rachel Ost's house tonight. We seem to be sort of swapping around each time as to where we have our catch-ups which is super nice. Last time it was at Hannah's house. The one before that was where I had it here and I cooked some chicken pie if you remember. I'm so jealous. <laughs> it was a good evening. I do make you chicken pie dear. Hi girls! How are you? Hey cutie! Oh! Yes! Oh you vicious! Oh you like my dog voice! Rachie's apartment. Okay, now I've seen the pets. Go see the plants. Yeah. <laughs> Some beautiful devil's ivy. Hello, aren't you just so cute? Oh, you little rascals. So many animals. Hello everyone, so it is Saturday, 31st of August, it's the last day of the month, last day of winter, I'm so happy and it's a gorgeous spring like day outside as well, so that is fantastic. First things first is yesterday I picked up a parcel from my parcel locker that was kindly organised to be sent to me by the lovely Michelle Crossan who I will link her channel below. She is the new face of the Neutrogena cleansing oils that have just come out, which is so exciting for her. They've sent me over a little care pack, which is super cute. You guys know that I definitely am cutting back on PR. Like I've gone off a lot of the regular uh, PR send outs that I was getting. So I don't get parcels from brands that often anymore, but Michelle did reach out to me and said it was a very special parcel. So I was like, I will happily receive this one. This little pack is curated by Michelle with a bunch of her favorite things. So first up, this is so awesome. We have a little sweater from Lauren Curtis's brand, Lauren Curtis Lounge, which I actually have this in gray with the matching track pants already. I absolutely love her loungewear. It's all like got the nice embroidery on the back. Yum, some chocolate, perfect for like a little pamper sesh. Got a little daily greatness uh, journal. So I think this is what Michelle uses all the time to sort of like keep track of like her life and stuff. Here's a little note from Michelle. Anna, I'm so excited to be the face of Neutrogena's new cleansing gels. To celebrate the rollout of my new campaign, please enjoy some of my self-care essentials, including my favorite Neutrogena picks curated by me. Hope you love them just as much as I do. Oh, thanks, Michelle. This is so exciting. So those are a few of her favorite Neutrogena products. And she's also popped in this as well, the Junora Naked Collagen powder. I've seen her using this a lot. I don't actually know a lot about like collagen powders and stuff and what they do. So I'll have to do a bit of research on this. Um, but yeah, I know that she's a really big fan of this brand. Thank you so much for sending that over, Michelle. You are a darling. I'll have a link to Michelle's channel below. You should definitely go subscribe and follow her on Instagram as well. She posts a lot more on Instagram. So now Alex and I are off to the market. We're a bit late. Hopefully it's still open. I think it's open till three. Um, but this is what I'm wearing today. I look very seed-esque. If you are in Australia and you know what seed oh, is. Seed-esque, seed yes. I, I look like I buy all my clothes at seed, which is sort of not an inaccuracy. It's very like active wear. Leggings from Lululemon and my merchant juice, slightly wedged sneakers. This is a nice sunshine. And it's only 18 degrees today, but it feels so much warmer because we've been used to winter. It's gorgeous. Got myself flat white. I had a crate, sorry I couldn't wait to show you. The uh, trains are not running today, so it took us a bit longer to get here, but thankfully we didn't miss it. I'm really pleased we came. Me too, you were hungry. I was hungry, yeah, I was a bit of a mood before, so that's why I wasn't vlogging. Got here, I ate my crepe and I was like, now I can vlog. Right. Well, I was a bit cold in the shade, and I'm a bit tired today, and I was hungry. It was like the ultimate triple threat. It is good that I am caffeinated, fed, and warm in the sun. So we just got home and I've just filmed 
this little stop motion thing for my last vlog that I'm still editing. It is so delayed going up, but I'm just gonna have a week where I put like three videos up in a row and I'm sure you guys don't mind. So yeah, this was the little like map of New Zealand that I printed out and then I went and bought some um, a packet of the jet plane lollies and these little cars car lollies so I could do a little stop motion of our travels through New Zealand for the vlog. I tell you what it actually required so much more effort just going and printing this thing and going and finding the lollies than it probably was worth just for what it actually brings to that video but it's fun and I'm really enjoying doing stop motion stuff at the moment as you guys know so I thought it was kind of fun to experiment with that. We will see. I'm gonna find out very shortly as to whether it actually turned out to be something that was a worthwhile good morning everyone it is sunday the 1st of september happy new month first day of spring very exciting not as nice a day as yesterday unfortunately yesterday felt so much like spring it was like 18 degrees the sun was shining it was beautiful but today is going to be a very fun day my friend rach she's had a bit of a rough week and i thought I would use my day off because I'm trying really hard to have like a proper day off each week but I would take her out and have a girls day with her and I've organized a few fun things for us to go and do things that I know she loves and that will cheer her up a bit and make her feel a little bit less stressed so I'm just getting ready I have to meet her in about three quarters of an hour I've got to remember it takes me a little bit longer in the morning to get ready because I am testing out a bunch of sunscreens at the moment for my sunscreen video as i use them i like jot down my thoughts in a little notebook and i sit there and do a bit more research on my phone as well like for ingredients and stuff put all the info in there but yeah adds an extra good like 10 minutes to my routine in the morning but it's gonna be a good video should be up in a couple of weeks i would say all right all ready to go this is what i'm wearing today so i've got this little hat that i got from david jones uh, i think it was last year last winter but it's so cool, I love this one. This little thin knit is from Sports Girl. I've just got a little silk camisole on underneath. Black nobody denim jeans and my very old, very well loved merchant brown boots which are falling apart sadly. And I'm going to wear my Yestyle fur jacket over top as well just because it is pretty cold today. That's the whole look there. I just think it looks so snugly and warm. This is pretty much my uniform in New Zealand. Hey girl! Hi! How are you doing? I'm good. It's good. a bit windy, a bit cold, but yep. it's nice. Yep. Really nice day to be out. <laughs> got ourselves some coffee. Yes. I'm gonna go get a crepe soon. Yeah. Yum. Red card. Woo! Yay, I'm so <laughs> excited. Crepe, crepe time. This looks so good. So good. We're in H&M Home! <laughs> Our favourite shop. <laughs> so much cute stuff. I love these. I love these like placemats. Like they're all like very velvety. It's very much your colour aesthetic at the moment. Oh, the green and gold. It's so nice. I just realised that's super Australian. <laughs> green and gold. Oh, it's a wee mini one. It's so cute. I have this mirror. It's really nice. It's lovely. Of course, we are in Kmart. Checking out the pots. They have such good pots here for plants. Super affordable as well. Like that really one's like really pretty. These are cool. Those are nice colours. Good morning, lovely people. It is Monday the 2nd of September. I should know that because I was celebrating the fact that it was the 1st of September yesterday. I just finished filming my favourites video which is why I have quite a full face on because I needed to talk about this lipstick and these lashes. But I realised that I didn't round off my vlog from last week so I thought I would do that now and just say goodbye to you guys so I can finish this one off. As much as I love filming and showing you guys like all my travels and stuff, there is nothing better than just like a little at home kind of vlog in Melbourne. Once again, thank you so much. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.